The Roman emperor was the highest authority in the empire. The practice of Roman emperor worship had been in place since the time of Julius Caesar. Officially, emperors were not deified until after their death, but each emperor made his own rules. In 40 CE, shortly after the resurrection, Emperor Caligula built a temple to himself, but he was assassinated in 41 CE, and his name removed from official records. In Armageddon's only weapon is the Sword of Truth by Sandy Miller, it is mentioned that John the Disciple was exiled on an island only 25 miles in circumference, west of Miletus, in Asia Minor. During the late 1st century, the Roman Empire banished people like John there because he wouldn't be quiet when Roman occupiers objected to his speaking in public about the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. The Romans were sensitive to the subject of resurrection and did not like John's announcement about Jesus being alive again. What do you think the understanding of the power of evil was when Jesus was alive? For John the disciple, the event of the resurrection was still a revelation to him. While staying on the island, he had written of a powerful vision of how the self-sacrifice was transforming the world. John, as the bishop of the seven churches addressed in Revelation, had to arm other Christians for spiritual warfare with the Roman Empire. He had to prepare them for suffering. However, John also had to equip the Christians to see beyond present circumstances to the spiritual reality of the world Christ brought their light through his resurrection. He said, The kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. Know more about John the Disciple as involvement about the book of Revelation through Sandy Miller's Armageddon's Only Weapon is the Sword of Truth, available on Amazon.